In this movie, I will be reviewing um, how to use the active batch Kogo command. So what the active batch Kogo command does is it will record every um, keystroke and command that you input while you are using Kogo. Um, in this example, I have created a new drawing um, using US feet and quadrant bearings. Uh, to activate the active batch Kogo command, you can find that under the Kogo ribbon and under the batch Kogo group um, under load control dialog. Um, once you click into load control dialog, it pops up with um, all available options. And what you can think of this dialog box as is a tape recorder. Um, it has all the options to set, start, stop, edit, run, erase. Um, and the first thing that you want to do is you want to set the file. Um, so if you have a existing batch file that you'd like to load, uh, you can click on existing. Um, or if you have a new one that you'd like to create, you can hit new, which is what we'd like to do. Here you can specify a name. And I'm just going to call this batch 3. And I'm going to save it. Now you can see that the batch file has been set. And you can see the file path of where the file has been saved. Now that we have set the batch file up and have it saved, uh, recording is still turned off. So it is still not yet um, recording the commands um, in the file. So now if we hit start, uh, re recording is turned on. And now if we just start the Kogo command, um, it asks us to enter from point, And we want to enter from point 1. And since we do not have a point 1 in the drawing, it's asking for um, its position, so I'm just going to put 100 northing, 100 easting, and description of post. And we want to go at a direction in the first quadrant and 0 degrees. And we'd like to go at a distance of 200 feet. And we'd like to solve for point 2. And this is also a post as well. And I'll just label the line there. And I want to enter from point 2. And first quadrant, 90 degrees. And we want to go at a distance of 150 feet. And we'll solve for point 3. And this could be a bar. And we'll just label it. Um, now what I want to do is I want to place the east lot line um, using the same information, the line information from these two um, lot lines. So if we want to enter from point 3, and the bearing we want to use is 3 to 2, and we want to turn an angle of 90 degrees to the left. And since we are turning the angle 90 degrees to the left, uh, we just have to make sure to put a negative in the command line. So it would be 3 dot dot 2, negative 90 for the bearing. And we want to go at a distance um, from 2 to 1. And we want to solve for point 4. And this can be a post. And I'll just label the bearing. And now I'll just do a simple inverse from 1 to 4 to create the lot. And it shows up with the line information, uh, which you can review. I'm just going to hit OK. And it places the line. And it asks you to label the line there. 
And now I'm just going to hit escape to get out of the Kogo command. And as you can see, I have drawn a four-sided lot. And I have also shown you guys how to set up the batch file. And I will continue on in the next video. Thanks for watching.